my Canadian story. Do you ever stop to think how important Canada is to the world? <laughs> My name is Ryan Desenzo, and I grew up in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And basically, I don't know. I just fell in love with skateboarding. You know, as soon as as soon as I learned how to like do some tricks and stuff, I think I was 13. Watched all the videos, went to the local park every day, fundraised to help get a skate park in my hometown. Rode for the local shop. Eventually, they saw us skating at the park. And you guys want to have like shop discount and some free shirts and whatever, a couple of shop decks. And we're like, are you kidding me? Yes. Wow. Like, and that changed our world. I was just even more fired up on skating. It just all snowballed from there. Growing up, we would just take the bus from the suburbs, from Delta into downtown city, and have like a little video cam, VHSC cam that me and Scott taped our fisheye on and we would just skate around the whole city and, and film each other. We made a little video when we were kids, it was called Ryan and Scott's Infestation. I honestly thought it was kind of impossible to become a pro skateboarder from Canada when all I could think about is like, man, it never rains in California so those kids are just skating every day, they must be getting so good. Like, there's no chance for me. I don't know, I just thought we all had a disadvantage, like a huge disadvantage. No, you can't skate enough. It's too rainy. But then, you know, they built the indoor park. That was a turning point. It was like, phew, all of a sudden we're skating through the winters on a perfect little rails and whatever stuff that they built at the RDS indoor. We would go there every day. We would sneak in and not pay. And then they'd be like yelling at us over the megaphone, like, Ryan and Scott DeCenzo, you need to pay. If Moses and Sligo yelled at us, we'd be like, sorry, forgiveness. <laughs> Basically, Hasty, Macnow, and Galea were all the dudes that I really looked up to and they inspired me a lot. I just, I worshiped their skating. I was like, these guys are the best. They all rode for Dark Star and they're from, from Vancouver. I eventually just met them through skating. So I just started skating with those guys more and helped me get my foot in the door. I started getting photos in magazines in Canada, like Concrete Powder and SBC. I was really hyped on that. Macnow kind of brought me under his wing and introduced me to Chet and got me to come down to California and skate down here and just basically did it all over again. Started getting in magazines and filming more video parts and just, you know, having a great time. Just skating. The freedom of skateboarding is what got me hooked on it. It's just, there's so many different tricks to do and different ways to approach it that it's just, it's unlike anything else. The whole vibe and everything that goes with it is just the most fun shit ever. You're going skating with your homies and you're just messing around filming each other and half the time you're laughing because your homie slammed or you slammed or, you know, it's just like, and it's just the most fun. It's, there's nothing more fun than it. We'd be skating on like the street side of the course and people would be like, hey, Sluggo's trying to backflip. And then everybody would run over and sit down at the flat bottom and be like, he'd be just like, wee, wee. Like, you got it, Sluggo. It's pretty sick. <laughs>